Hey y'all, I hope you're doing well. I've taken AP art twice, once in my junior year and once in my senior year. And I made a video about my portfolio from junior year, but I haven't made one for senior year. And I'm currently a freshman in college, so this is way overdue, but. I have eight pieces I wanna show you that scored me a five on the AP art exam. My senior year AP art portfolio was a drawing portfolio. I believe the junior year one was a 2D portfolio. I don't even remember, to be honest, what they're actually called. It's been a very long time, but I know you have to have two different portfolios. Like you can't do the same one twice. I'm going to show these in no particular order because I don't even remember the order that I submitted my portfolio in. And I'm also missing one of my pieces, which is very bad because I do have a portfolio here that I keep all my pieces in. So I don't know where else it could be. So my portfolio for senior year was surrounding feeling comfortable and uncomfortable. So for about half my pieces, I want to capture a really comfortable moment or feeling in my life and the other half is uncomfortable moments now let's get into it this is the first piece it's an oil painting on canvas paper this is a photo of my sister and i at the beach and as you can guess this piece is illustrating a comfortable moment in my life it was very serene i also wanted to play around with closed eyes and open eyes throughout this portfolio so instead of the sun i have a closed eye kind of symbolizing letting down my guard it's very shiny Moving on to this next piece. This is crayon on mixed media paper. And this is a comfortable moment in my bed, on my switch. This was the Animal Crossing part of quarantine. I really like the effect that the crayon gave. It's like warm and fuzzy. This next one was about feeling comfortable in my body because during quarantine, it was a kind of newfound experience of me just feeling at home in this vessel of flesh. So this is Sharpie oil paint pens on canvas paper once again. You can see there's like one body here and then another body here. They're kind of overlapping each other. This was a mind fuck, honestly. It took forever to do, but I'm so happy with how it turned out because the effect actually worked. The way I actually planned this out was I went into Procreate and I lowered the opacity of two different images and just laid them on top of each other. Then I altered the colors a lot and that's how it turned out. So yeah, really, really proud of this one. I love it so much. It's one of my favorites. This next one is about the uncomfortable impending doom that capitalism is kind of catalyzing for us. Catalyzing? Let me look that up. This was actually the back room of Mod Pizza, which is the first job that I had. It was so difficult for me to process the amount of waste and like nastiness that was in that restaurant. No shade to the people who worked there or the managers or anything, cause they're trying their best, but like it is so hard to work someplace like this without feeling kind of guilty. So I wanted to illustrate that. I don't know why I chose the warm colors to be honest. I just kind of went for for it. I wanted to spice things up a little bit because it's a mundane place to be and I didn't want to illustrate something mundane because I need to kind of trick my brain into wanting to do something by being like, oh look, shapes and colors. This is colored pencil on mixed media paper. A lot of these images were either edited in just like my camera roll and boosting the saturation and vibrancy or going into Procreate and just messing with the curves feature or like the color balance and all that stuff. That's how a lot of my reference process was made. It's just about like being angry at capitalism and being uncomfortable by the fact that there's nothing we can really do as individuals to change something so monumental. This next one actually won a gold key scholastic award. Woo! This is colored pencil on mixed media paper. It's probably one of the biggest pieces I've done to be honest because I do not work on very large scales. This was about feeling uncomfortable in the construct of femininity and gender, being in this vicious cycle of not wanting to be sexualized but wanting to be sexy. I like feeling feminine. I like feeling curvaceous and beautiful and lumpy and all of the words. Then you go out in public and then someone kind of turns that into something Thing negative you know so it's like that feeling you get after being catcalled like that disgusting little like feeling in your stomach like 
am I to blame? Of course I'm not, but am I? Like, you know, it kind of puts that thought into your head. So for this reference picture, I had my sister take a picture of me laying in my bed using the um, 0.5 zoom on my phone. So I got that like foreshortening going on there. I really, really wanted to push the saturation in this one. So hopefully that worked. One thing I really don't like about this piece is that the inconsistency in the corner of the wall is very noticeable when you notice it. It makes me so uncomfortable because like I tried fixing it, like I tried making the, the wall more even, but it's very inconsistent. So that is one thing I don't like about this piece, but I'm very proud of this. It took so long. I, I slaved over it and it worked. It paid off. I got an award. So there you go. So yeah, that's one of the uncomfortable pieces. Being a person with boobs and a vagina is not fun sometimes. Okay, now for the pieces that I don't have physical copies of, either because I don't have them or because they're digital. At some point in the semester, my teacher wanted us to do a project about a social issue that we could tie into our theme. I chose to do something on fast fashion. I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys get a better version of it. The iPad is not doing it justice at all. This piece was about being uncomfortable with the fact that similar to, you know, Know, capitalism and fast food etc etc you can only do so much as an individual you can vote with your dollar and buy from certain brands over others but it's really difficult to find 100% sustainable clothes and I decided to make the background really like swirly and liquefied in procreate because I thought that could help illustrate the feeling of you know being uncomfortable and feeling powerless that was colored pencil on mixed media paper this next piece was completely digital done on procreate on my iPad. It was about feeling comfortable in nature and like being outside. Also just wearing my mask and like that sense of being comfortable, um, feeling secure, and also drawing because you know like being outside, drawing, it's a really nice feeling, you know, at least for me it is. It just like illustrates feeling radiant as well as comfortable. Less like a cozy kind of comfortable and more like a secure and like buzzing, vibrant kind of feeling. I don't really know like that's what I wanted to convey so this next one I think is the last one It's definitely not the last piece I did but I definitely was running out of motivation at this point The picture is actually from Thanksgiving when my dad thought he might have COVID so he was like wearing a mask at dinner and distancing from us when we ate so it was like a juxtaposition of feeling together but also having to distance physically I thought that was an interesting concept to play with feeling comfortable and uncomfortable at the same time this piece was really fun because I got to mess around with more textures in procreate which I hadn't really done before and that kind of jump-started me messing with more textures because you can get an almost more interesting result when you use less airbrush soft smooth textures and you really try to replicate something physical and just real you know like it could almost be tangible and I also got to kind of mess with the colors after I finished the piece since it was on procreate so that was really cool too both of my digital pieces I wasn't super psyched about when I did them but looking back on them I really appreciate them I actually don't even remember how many slides we had to submit for the AP art submission Mission. What College Board does is they allow you to submit. I think we called them slides, but they were definitely called something else. But basically, you can put together a series of images or just one image if you choose to. So you can submit your piece, but then in the next slide, you can also submit a couple process images and really show the behind the scenes of that piece and give the judge a more educated, informed view of your work. I ended up just doing as many pieces as I could and then really, really reaching when I submitted it. I do get a few comments that ask for like help with AP art and I honestly don't have any advice except for just like draw as much as you can practice in your sketchbook really plan out your pieces you can make thumbnail sketches you can mess with your colors in your sketchbook experiment with materials what my art teacher miss griffith wanted us to do was to kind of experiment in these workshops that we would have throughout the year and that way we could mess with new materials we could figure out what we liked what we didn't like and that way we had a bit more sense of being comfortable in that class i think that really helped do your work make time for it because it will pay off off if you put aside like I don't know five to ten hours a week I was definitely a high schooler that planned out my work 
more than other people. Not that I performed the best in high school, but I still liked to write down a list of tasks for the day and the specific times I was gonna do them in. So that really helped, especially being in quarantine. I had to kind of make my own routine, make my own schedule. So just outlining it and actually writing it down, like not even on Notion or in my notes app or anything, but just writing it down on paper, that really, really helped me. Don't be scared to get out of your comfort zone. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Good luck in AP art if you're taking it and good luck with college applications for those who are applying to college. That's so exciting. So happy for you. I love you guys so much. I will include this video's artist shout out at the end. Make some cool shit. Drink your water, take your Flintstones vitamins, like and subscribe if you're feeling the vibe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Protect me I think that's why he left